While you might not have used it today, air conditioners have had their fair share of work this far, so far this summer. And when the utility bill comes, there's something on there to help you keep track of your electricity consumption. Fox 11 meteorologist Phil DeCastro has more. As temperatures have finally gone up this year, air conditioners have been running more and more. And if you look at your electric bill, it has probably gone up as well. But you might notice something else on the bill called cooling degree days also piling up. What exactly is it? The first thing about a cooling degree day that you need to know is that there can be several of them in any one calendar day. They are not a unit of time. They're more of a measure of temperature. And it's the difference between a day's average temperature and a baseline temperature of 65 degrees. I'll say, for example, if we have an average temperature of 75 degrees, there will have been 10 cooling degree days accumulated on that one day. Can it help save you money, though? Carrie Spees, a spokesperson with WPS, says they're not as useful as their cold weather counterpart, heating degree days. If it's 20% colder, chances are your heating bill is going to be about 20% higher. For cooling degree days, it's a little different ball game because so many people use air conditioning, if they have it, differently. Under ideal circumstances, not changing the thermostat, keeping other consumption constant, they can be used to see if your habits have changed with the weather, that is, using less electricity when the weather is less hot. But since ideal circumstances are hardly common, the best way to keep summer electricity costs down will always be to simply use less of it. Meteorologist Phil DeCastro, Fox 11 News.